Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with tangerine cherry cranberry sauce. A classic holiday cranberry sauce with the extra awesomeness of tangerine and dry cherries. This is so easy. So if you're lazy and need to bring something to Thanksgiving dinner, this is the thing to go with. All right, so this starts out with one package, which is always 12 ounces of fresh cranberries. Really interesting how these are grown, but I don't want to bog you down with details. I said, bog you down. Thank you very much. All right, in addition to the cranberries, I have one cup of dried cherries. Pretty much any variety will do. You don't need to chop them up. They're good as is. And as far as spices, I like really simple. Three whole cloves, a cinnamon stick, and one star anise. The coolest spice ever. Check it out. All right, I also have a couple tangerines. You can use orange if you want to. Why am I using tangerine and not orange? Well, my psychiatrist says it's because I'm trying to exert my culinary dominance over you. But that's just her theory. All right, in a heavy bottom saucepan, I'm going to add my cranberries, my dried cherries, lots of sugar. Of course, all the amounts will be on food wishes as usual. All right, I'm going to throw in my spices. And then I'm going to want about a tablespoon of freshly grated tangerine zest. Or orange zest, of course. For the liquids, we need one cup of any combination, orange, tangerine juice, or water. So I had about two thirds of a cup of tangerine juice and I just topped it off with water. All right, so we're going over to the stove on medium high heat. Give it a stir and bring this up to a simmer. And all we need to do to make fresh cranberry sauce, believe it or not, is once this comes to a simmer, cook it for about 15 minutes. Seriously, that's all there is to it. I told you this was easy. Now, one of the very cool things about making cranberry sauce is listening to the berries pop and explode as it comes to a simmer. Okay, in fact, check it out. Hear that? All right, that was too quick. All right, let's have a little replay. Oh, yeah. All right, so if you hear popping and snapping and cracking and popping, don't get nervous. All part of the show. So simply bring that up to a simmer, back the heat down to low, and just simmer it for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. Anytime you're cooking something with this much sugar in it, you want to make sure you're stirring it every once in a while. Make sure it's not sticking or scorching to the bottom. And 15 minutes later, that's what it looks like. Now, most of those cranberries will have sort of collapsed. But if there's a couple stubborn ones, just kind of pop them, smash them with your spoon or your spatula. We're going to take that off the heat, and we're going to let that cool to room temperature. Now, at any point... You find those cloves, pull them out. You do not want someone biting into a whole clove, and they won't be that hard to find, all right? So there we go. Now it's room temperature. You can see the consistency there, nice and thick. All right, pull out the cinnamon stick and star anise, and there you go. Fresh tangerine cherry cranberry sauce. A fantastic sauce for your holiday turkeys, your hams, your duck, your goose, or any other edible waterfowl that you may come across perfect with this. So I really hope you give that a try. Super easy. Do not use canned cranberry sauce that has the shape of the can lines on it. Not sexy. This, totally sexy. And the combination of the tangerine and that tart dried cherry with the cranberry and the spices and the sugar, amazing. So go to the site. All the ingredients are there. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.